Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys had a good weekend and welcome to Monday. So today is August the 19th and I'm going to share with you guys how my weekend went. It is the weekend edition. I have a lot to talk about today. It's actually 1.02 a.m. on Sunday evening, early Monday morning. I'm doing this now because I can't sleep. I have been hit by the insomnia bug and I decided to just do this now and then I can upload in the morning. I can edit it this evening, this morning, and then upload it later this morning for you guys. Um, I do have a lot to talk about, kind of a lot to talk about. Um, first of all, probably noticeably I got my hair cut. I'm not sure if I like it so short or not yet. I definitely, it was definitely way too long. Um, I like my hair at a length where I can put it up, but not so long that it's just flying everywhere because my hair is so thin. My hair is the thinnest thing about me because nothing else in my body is thin except for my hair. But it just, I don't like my hair when it gets so long because it just, I don't like the looks of it. So where to start? First of all, I want to ask you guys, those of you who pray and who are, are so inclined to pray for others or just want to offer good wishes or positive energy, there's a channel that I watch here on YouTube and I have been watching this channel for years and I literally don't know how many years, probably four years maybe, I'm not quite sure how long, but it's been quite a few years. and. That channel is, it's the woman's name is Andrea Mills, and she is a homeschool mom. Her and her husband have nine children, and they live in a small house, and they show daily vlog. well, not daily vlogs, but they do vlogs of their homeschool, their shopping trips, and how their family of nine all fit into a small house. So I had noticed that they had not uploaded a video for about a month, it, probably three weeks a month. And I remember in the last vlog that they posted, Andrea was talking about not feeling well. They had went on a trip and she wasn't feeling well when she got home. So I didn't really think anything of it. Ish, people don't feel well and I didn't give it much thought. And then the other day I've been thinking, well, I haven't seen anything of their channel for a while. And then all of a sudden, it popped up. I saw a video from her husband talking about her being in the hospital. So it turns out, I don't know all the details, and I can't remember all the details. If you want to go follow their channel, I'm sure I'm asking you guys to pray, to send positive energy, white light, whatever it is that you would like to, because Andrea is very, very sick, and she is not expected to make it past a few days. Um, she went to the hospital with pain in her side and they thought it was her gallbladder and they operated on her and they found some abnormal cells on her gallbladder and they found out it was cancerous and in the meantime she was 13 weeks pregnant with her 10th child and the cancerous cells they knew that it did not come from the gallbladder, but they weren't really sure where it came from. And then they found out that the, even though her gallbladder was bad, the pain was coming from her liver. So her liver and her kidneys are in the process of shutting down. She had a miscarriage at 13 weeks, um, I think it was yesterday, and she had to deliver the baby. Um, So in delivering the baby, part of the placenta stayed in her uterus and they were going to want to do surgery to remove it because of infection, of course, and she was just not strong enough to withstand surgery. And there are just no other options. So I'm not quite sure where the cancer came from, um, but between that and the placenta, Tom, her husband, said that 
placenta being still inside her uterus is going to cause an infection and it's not going to be very long and they were in another city a bigger city if a ways away from where they live they live in a small town and so they were flying by plane back to their home so she could be in her home with her children and her husband and her family um, during this difficult time so if you guys are so inclined I would ask you guys to pray for her pray for her family and to pray for all her children that she leaves behind her oldest child is 17 and her youngest is I think 18 months so it's going to be a very difficult time for the family and I am just heartbroken this is a family that I watched for many years and you come to get attached to people you watch um, and it also reminded me of my mom how my mom went into the hospital she went into the hospital in July and she died in September she never came home and she died of cancer that quickly so very emotional hearing about all this so prayers for her family would be greatly appreciated so let me get into why we're here the weight loss how I've done this weekend and what I ate this weekend that's why we're all here to begin with so my weekend started out okay Saturday was okay it was good not bad but Sunday was a really bad day I had the worst Sunday it was one of those days where one thing started going wrong in the morning and then everything else during the day went wrong it followed I spilled things I dropped things I ruined things I if, if it could have happened bad it happened and the more things started happening the shorter fuse I started getting and I was just agitated so you're gonna see my food when I show my food when I inserted at the end I didn't show what I had for breakfast because I did eat breakfast on Sunday partly because I was agitated and I just wanted a cup of coffee so I guess it wasn't well I don't know I'll explain it when we get there but I did have something for breakfast I did have lunch that I just took a picture of I had a snack that I took a picture of and then I did record a video for dinner everything was well within my macros and it was fine but I felt like today well Sunday I'm still considering it Sunday because it's 1 a.m. but yesterday I felt like even though my calories were fine my macros were on point I still feel like I kind of grazed and I feel like that I don't know how to explain it I feel like I emotionally ate even though it was within my calories and carbs etc I don't know if that makes any sense but that's what it felt like because I was so frustrated I just wanted it seemed like the more frustrated I got the hungrier I got and I was really really wanting to order some kind of fast food or pizza or just eat large amounts of something luckily I didn't I am very happy that I was able to talk myself out of it because I'm on a good I'm on track and I'm on point and I don't want to mess that up I want to keep moving forward I've never in a while well never in a while that doesn't make, really make sense does it I haven't in a while been this on track and been this motivated to keep pushing forward and every day I find more motivation to keep moving forward and um, even though it was difficult I made it through the day so hopefully Monday will be a better day so as my bad day Sunday started out I fixed my coffee and I watch a church service online it's called Elevation Church and the pastor is Pastor Stephen Furtick I so relate to the things he says and he seems like he speaks to me and I understand the Bible I understand his messages 
I encourage anybody who is on a spiritual journey or who believes in God or likes to listen to church services, worship services, I highly recommend Elevation Church and you can find that here on YouTube or Facebook. Um, so the worship service this morning, his message was about trying, I'm trying. And it really hit home to me because part of his message was, within his message, he talked about people that are trying to lose weight, that have tried every kind of a diet and then finally find one that works. And that struggle of trying everything, trying everything and failing and failing and failing and just being faithful and showing up and having the faith that God will deliver you from all your struggles and that I really needed that message and if the video is up they post their their worship service online and sometimes they don't post it until Tuesdays I think but if it's if it's already posted I will leave a link to that worship service his message because I highly recommend it for anybody who is struggling with weight loss or any kind of an addiction or any kind of struggling with anything in your life that you're trying the hardest you can and still not succeeding and wanting to give up but still needing to push forward I highly recommend his message because I think it will speak to you very loudly and very clearly so it was thanks to him and that message that I did not binge on Sunday I did not give up and I kept pushing forward because I was trying harder and I was trying hard so that was part of what helped me on Sunday all right let's get on to the weigh-ins weekends I don't like weekends because weekends have not been good to me since I've been on keto since I've been losing weight it doesn't matter keto is not the whole point it's just since I've been losing weight weekends have not been conductive for weight loss for me for I don't know why I have no idea why um, I don't do anything different on the weekends than I do during the week but for some reason I stall out on the weekends so with that being said let's insert the clips of let's do Saturday first Saturday's way in here come out Friday. 534.4 pounds. So as you see, Saturday was 534.4, the same as Friday. A little irritating. Not so irritating because of the same weight. I understand that I'm not going to. Some days I'm not going to lose weight because I am weighing in daily. I have to take that into account. But it's just irritating because this is the third weekend in a row that it's done this. Actually, last weekend it went up 1.2 pounds, if you want to get accurate. The weekend before, it stalled out the entire weekend. And I don't understand it. But we'll get into that in a second. Let's do Sunday's weigh-in right here. Come on. It's ready. Five hundred and thirty-four point six pounds. So Sunday's weigh-in was 534.6, up 0.2 pounds. And I know that's just a fluctuation, that's not necessarily a gain, it's just whatever in my body fluctuating. But I stalled out all weekend. I don't get it, I don't understand why I can lose during the week, and then stall out on the weekends, three weekends in a row now. And it's a little frustrating. A little bit more than a little frustrating, a lot frustrating. I will throw it out there and I'm not going to, I, and I hate these people that use excuses of why they didn't lose weight, why this happened, because I've used enough of the excuses. 
I don't know if this is the reason, but I'm just going to throw it out there. When I tried to turn my scale on the first time, I hit the little turner on her thing, and it lit up, and then it went dark. And I hit it again, and it lit up, and it went dark. And then when I actually stood up and saw what it was doing, it said LO for low, and it flashed the battery. So I have a low battery. I need to change my batteries. And then I won't be getting batteries until sometime this week because I'm kind of broke at the moment. So I'm hoping that maybe it's an inaccurate reading because the batteries are low. I don't know. I'm not trying to blame it on that. Um, could be. Could just be my body is not losing weight for whatever reason at the moment. I do think a big part of, and oh, also before I forget too, I tested if I'm in ketosis. I only have the urine strips. I don't have the blood glucose tester yet. I was going to order it then last month and then my vet bill came and I had to pay that and not buy a tester. But this month I'm definitely going to be buying a blood tester for the ketosis. Um, but I'm still not in ketosis. So I need to figure out why I'm not in ketosis. Um, I'm still losing weight, which is great, but I need to be in ketosis. It's been long enough and I should be there by now. Um, it didn't take me this long the first time. So the only thing I can think of, these are the things that I've been doing differently from the first time. I've been having a lot of things with almond flour. I wasn't using almond flour the first time. I've been eating the granola and the keto cereal, which I didn't do the first time. Um, I've been drinking a lot of Mio, the flavored water, the water enhancer. I wasn't doing that the first time. So I don't know if those things are what is keeping me from not reaching ketosis. So what I plan to do starting on Monday, I am going to, starting actually tomorrow, today, whatever you want to say, um, I'm going back to the basics. No Mio, none of the granola, none of the hot cereal. I'm not going to use the almond flour. I will still make chaffles because it's just egg and cheese. That's fine. Um, just going back to the basics of what I was doing the first time. I'm still going to eat my vegetables. Um, but that's it. I was eating a little bit of fruit a couple days. I had a few strawberries. I think it was a couple days I had strawberries. I still have strawberries and blueberries in my fridge But I'm going to give them to my neighbor because I'm not going to eat any more of those Those are the only things different that I was doing from the first time when I did get into ketosis a lot faster than I'm getting into I've not gotten into it yet yet unless the urine strips are just not accurate, unless I am there. Every once in a while, I'm getting like a taste in my mouth of the keto breath that I tasted the first time, but then it goes away. Um, when I was in ketosis the first time, I pretty much had that taste pretty much steadily for the first week or so. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get rid of all those other things and just go back to the basics of meats, meats, is, Meats, cheeses, eggs, basic things like that. Like I said, I'll still make the truffles because it's just egg and cheese. I'm okay with that. Um, so that is the only thing that's changed. I was still eating cheese. I was still eating hamburger. I was still eating all that other kind of stuff. Those things I listed are the only things that changed. I think, I kind of think it's the Mio that I've been drinking. Um, Keto Diamond had made a video where she said sucralose can keep you out of ketosis and the Mio's have sucralose as well as the Jelly Belly water enhancers that I got and I've been drinking a lot of those. I've been drinking at least two 24 ounce tumblers, sometimes two, but at least one, more days than not two and I don't show when I drink those, I mean maybe I should, but I just don't consider drinks, I never think to do the drinks, I just do the food. But most days I have two 24-ounce tumblers of the Mio. I do have water as well, but I'm drinking the Mio with it, um, in addition to the water, plain water. So 
like I said, that's the only thing I can think of. Also, I had a question and I'm going to ask you guys and see what you guys think. I've heard that some people don't count the carbs from veggies and some people do. So I don't know what to do. I've been counting my carbs in my vegetables, but I don't know if I should not count them or if I should continue to count them. You guys can tell me what you think and let me know what you guys do. Those of you who are doing keto, do you count your veggie carbs or do you just leave them out? And I'm not talking about potatoes and stuff like that. I'm talking about keto approved veggies like broccoli, zucchini, cauliflower, cabbage, those kinds of things. So let me know in the comments below what you do in regards to your veggies. All right, so let's move on to what I ate. First, we're gonna see what I ate on Saturday. It's Saturday morning and I'm going to have my first meal. It's 11.07 a.m. and I'm not going to last my full fasting time today because I'm starving this morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat. Somebody had asked me if I would show how I make the 90 second keto bread. So that's what I'm gonna do. So what I'm gonna use is a tablespoon of butter. I have the Land O'Lakes whipped butter. And you just need a tablespoon of that. I'm gonna go ahead and melt that in the microwave first so I can mix it all up with my other ingredients. My butter is mostly melted now, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my egg next so I can beat them together. And the bowl you use to make your keto bread, it doesn't really matter. It depends on how thick you want it, the shape you want it, and all that. I'm going to beat this up and I'll be right back. All right, now that I have my butter and egg combined, I'm going to add the other ingredients. It needs a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, so I'm just going to give it a couple twists of my pink Himalayan salt. half a teaspoon of baking powder. And lastly, three tablespoons of almond flour. going to mix all this up until it's in a smooth batter. All right, there we have our 90 second keto bread batter, and you're going to literally just stick this in the microwave for 90 seconds. And that's what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. I'm going to go ahead and flip it out onto my counter so you can see a pretty little, oops, Pretty little keto bread. I'm gonna let this cool for a couple minutes and then I'm gonna slice it in half. You can eat it like this, but I prefer to slice it in half and put whatever I'm going to eat on it. Then I put it in my skillet and grill it like grilled cheese or toast it um, or fry it, whatever you wanna call it, in some butter and that's how I like to eat my keto bread. I think it's cooled enough now. I'm just gonna take our knife and slice into it. It kind of reminds me of an English muffin consistency. It's not bread. It doesn't taste like actual bread bread, but like I said, it, it reminds me of a English muffin.
And there you have your keto bread. All right, in my skillet, I have about a tablespoon of butter melting. I'm gonna add two turkey sausage patties. And then my keto bread. And I'm going to, going to grill it up. Eleven twenty-two a.m. My first meal for Saturday: the keto bread that I grilled with two slices of Munster cheese. This is like the best cheese I've found so far. It's carb-free and eighty calories per slice. Sargento's Munster natural cheese, and then also on there is two of the Bob Evans. turkey sausage patties and that is my first meal along with a glass my 24 ounce tumbler of Neo lemonade infused water so there you go first meal for Saturday check back with you later it's 7 57 p.m. Saturday and I'm gonna have my second and final meal of the day Actually, I guess you could call it my third meal. Um, I had this earlier and I forgot to take a video of it. So this is the Premier Protein in the Vanilla Milkshake flavor. There are three carbs, if I'm not mistaken, three net carbs and 140 calories in that. So I had that around 3 o'clock or 3.30. So, like I said, it's now almost 8 o'clock, and I'm going to have my dinner, and this is what I'm having for dinner, a real mishmash of stuff. So I have two eggs that I just mashed up and put two tablespoons of Duke's Mayo with some pink Himalayan salt and pepper. I have two servings, which is four ounces, of the roasted turkey breast and then two slices of Munster cheese, two dill pickles, and two servings of green olives. And then I'm also gonna have my 32 ounces of water. So that wraps up my food for Saturday. I will see you guys back on Sunday morning, or Sunday afternoon, whichever comes first. <laughs>pretty clean on Saturday I'm okay with what I had on Saturday so then we're gonna move on to Sunday so let me tell you first I don't have a clip or a picture of what I had the first thing I had on Sunday I had Sunday morning around 8 30 9 o'clock ish I had 12 ounces of coffee with an 11 ounce premier protein chocolate shake and I mixed those up with ice and made kind of like a frappuccino thick. I also put in there a third of a cup of coconut milk to make it kind of creamy and thick. Um, so that was the first thing I had on Sunday and I, like I said, I didn't take a picture of that. That was in between when I was feeling irritable and I just wanted some coffee and I didn't want to take the time to film it so I just had it. But I'm letting you guys know to stay accountable. Okay, so when I actually ate something, I will insert a picture here. So that was two ounces of the honey smoked white turkey breast, deli meat, and three slices of Munster cheese and 10 green olives and I ate all of that okay so then when I went to play cards I took this with me
and that was two of the Keto Slim Fast Fat Bombs and four of the Lifesaver candies, the sugar-free. And then here's what I didn't eat of that. So that is the portion that I didn't actually have a video for. Like I said, I had the pictures for some of that. Didn't have anything for the breakfast, the first coffee. Um, but I do have video of what I had for dinner. So I'm gonna insert the video of what I had for dinner and then I will leave the totals and then I will see you guys tomorrow for Monday. Bye everyone. It's 8.45 on Sunday evening, and this is my final food of the day. It's very colorful, if I do say so myself. So what I have here is one cup of ground beef, quarter of a cup of shredded cheddar cheese, one medium tomato diced up, one tablespoon of sour cream. On this side, I have one and a half cups of baby broccoli florets with one tablespoon of Land O'Lakes butter. And then I just put a light grinding of pink Himalayan salt over top of all of it. That with my 32 ounces of water will be what I have for the evening. And that's all I'll have.